a set so bad, Sephora took it off their website. <laughs> Y'all, this had like 1.5 star reviews across the board. Hi, welcome. I hope you're having an awesome day. We're talking smack about this Sephora favorites Luxe at Sephora luxury beauty kit today. You know I love talking smack about makeup because like I always say there are too many good products out there to put up with subpar and overpriced stuff that's like not worth the quality. First of all, if you haven't seen my first video, I did complete like swatches of the set and everything. Um, tried it on live and had a lot of issues, but I will link that right here and you can watch it. Also, subscribe to my channel if you like these Sephora favorites kits because I pretty much buy every single Sephora favorites kit, kit that is lipstick centered and I do swatches of all of them. So I love doing those videos. So if you're interested in that, you can sub to the channel. I don't know what side it's on. But today we're talking smack about this. Um, I always do follow-up reviews after my initial swatch and try on. I will start with this primer. It did absolutely nothing. And now looking back at this, um, at the first video that I did, I realized that it was the reason that my face was a mess. Like I looked in the viewfinder and in the mirror and I was like, why is my skin so textured and weird when I put foundation on? But I realized that it was because this thing was making everything just kind of slip around and not sit properly. It kind of like broke up my makeup over it. It was really weird. And uh, I don't think the gold, there are little gold flecks in here and I don't think those did a damn thing. It has fragrance, which I prefer not to have fragrance in my skin products, but um, I don't think it did anything. It definitely blurred, but I don't think as a primer that it primed well. Um, and I don't think my makeup lasted particularly long. It definitely didn't make my makeup go on any easier, so that's what would stop me from using this in the future. And that it didn't really make it last any longer, which is kind of normal, so... Overall, not impressed. I did go on a rant about why I'm not ever really impressed with YSL products, so... Uh, yeah, I'll just leave it there. You can see my rant in another video. After that, I tried on the Dior, Dior Show Mascara. This is such a popular well-known mascara that I, I really had higher expectations for it. The brush is so damn big that I couldn't even get it on my eyelashes properly without getting mascara all over my eyelids. Um, but it felt like I wasn't getting any product. Like it just would not actually go on my eyelash. So I had to go over and over and over again. And if you watch that first video, I eventually just gave up and I got pissed. So I stopped using it. But um, lasting power was good. I'm really prone to raccoon eyes and just like stuff smudging underneath my eye because I have oily eyelids. Um, but I didn't have any issues with this, although that doesn't really make it any better. I honestly, there were two Sephora Lux sets I've tried and I will link the other one in the description if you haven't seen it. The first one, which was like late last year, I believe. And I've been disappointed by all the mascaras and most of the other products in the sets. Really the lipstick lipsticks have been the only like saving grace, but I didn't like this mascara and I didn't like the mascaras in the last Luxe set, so I might just give up on these Luxe sets. The next product that I just was like, meh, it's cool, whatever. This was like something I was neutral about because cool like a veil setting powder is always great. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. So a setting powder is always something you can use, right? It's not like it's an obsolete product or something that like might not work for everybody. Um, you know, it works for most people and it's pretty like basic of an item. So it's, it's useful, but I mean, this was nothing special and it's so small that I felt like, okay, cool. I really have nothing to say about this. It did what it was supposed to do, but um, in terms of a veil, it's really light. So it's not going to give you a lot of oil control if you want oil control, which I do because I have oily T-zone. Um, I like my Laura Mercier powder very well and I don't even know if this made any difference. I digress. I moved to the, I'm gonna move to the lipsticks. There were three lipsticks. One I tried on first and I wasn't really impressed with it. The Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro in the color 501. Um, so freaking small. Like I, I really just cannot deal. This was so tiny. I didn't like the formula personally but I know a lot of people do and I didn't really like the color but it's not bad. It's a good product. It's just so damn small. I don't know. I actually liked the lipsticks in this set most out of everything in the set. I was really impressed by the lipsticks. The next one I tried on was the Tom Ford Casablanca lip color. This one was gorgeous and I know Tom Ford lipsticks are great. 
Somebody commented saying that their Tom Ford lipstick actually went bad really quickly, so that sucks. But I know I don't have very many things to say about this set, but it's truly like, I'm not impressed. The lipsticks really like were the saving grace of this entire set for me. But even then, it's like they're so tiny and they're just, I mean, I could live without them. Like, I, I just don't think this set is worth $45. The last one and the one item I was super, super, super blown away by in this set is the Pat McGrath Matte Trance Lipstick in the color Flesh 3. Please go look at the swatch I did of this in that video because it is a gorgeous color. Um, beautiful formula. I actually went and bought two of the Pat McGrath sets, the lip gloss and the lipstick, both of the warm sets. And so I did a video and I'll link that right here if you haven't seen it, but man, I freaking loved this lipstick. It's just a beautiful color, beautiful formula, beautiful packaging. I, I don't think Pat McGrath can do anything wrong, really. I mean, the quality of her products and just the quality of everything that, that they put out in that line is just incredible. If you saw the reviews for this before they apparently took it down off the website, you would have seen that they were pretty much all like one to two stars, maybe three. These are all so tiny. These products are way too tiny to be costing $45. Like these are 100 point perks. If, if even, like I, I'm not down. I think that they tried to rip everybody off with the set and um, I don't think they included a good amount of product. I think like the number of things are good, but the size of the products were way too small. Like, one thing I think that they should start doing with these Lux sets is they start ripping people off and they kind of do like a, oh, here are five expensive things in like this tiny of a size. But they need to start including one full size product. If one of those lipsticks were full size and the rest of them were tiny, I think I would like the set more. Um, but just like there are other Sephora favorites, like they'll give me some lip sets, they always do at least one to two full-size products, so I 100% think that they should be doing full-size products with these sets. Maybe. Sephora needs to get me on their marketing team, I mean, I'm just saying. Um, I would revamp these sets, make sure all y'all get your full-size <laughs> products. But yeah, that is my thought, my, my one thought <laughs> about this set. I don't think it was worth the money, I think the products were too small. I was not satisfied with a lot of the products themselves individually, and I do think they need to start including full-size products. So once they do that, hopefully their Lux sets will get a little bit better, and they won't have to pull them from the damn website. <laughs> but if you are interested in seeing me try those products on and swatch and whatnot, you can check it out up here. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your comments. Like, what did you think if you saw that first video? If you tried this out, what did you think? Um, if you read the reviews, what did you think? Just let me know what you think and subscribe to my channel if you like to see Sephora favorites because I do tons of Sephora favorites videos and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!